Grandpa delivered. How you feeling, Dad? Anxious, but excited, but apprehensive because I don't really want to move all these boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Friday, September 13th. It's also a full moon tonight. What? You got bug bite? You see what they delivered? What is that? It's a big trailer. It's where we're gonna put our stuff when we move. Put, um, let's get all our toys. Let's get what? All our toys. Make sure we have all our toys. Mm -hmm. Yep, we will. My stuff. Where's your stuff going? Um, going to Oregon. Going to Oregon. I do that. Are you excited? I do that. You're not going to be in here with it. Well, we can put you in here if you want to. No, you can't. You're going to ride with us in our car. Really? I Burn it all and start again. Yeah, sell everything. <laughs> We've Estate tried. <laughs> what else can we do to not have to do anything right now? <laughs> Doing some damage. It looks good. All right, here we are, PDQ line, because now we are gonna eat fast food for the next couple days, weeks, months. <laughs> no, we are petrified and so excited. Love you all. Today is Saturday, September 14th, 2019. Tonight is our last night in this house. How are you feeling, Dad? Tired, sad. Happy, excited, anxious, all of the above. Yeah. So not much left in the house right now. Pretty empty, but still enough to be daunting. <laughs> yes. When my back already feels like it does. What was your favorite memory in this house? Don't take mine. <laughs> I think my favorite memories are just the everyday things like just you know going and waking Harper up or and like having Cannon come and lay with us in our bed and coming out to make coffee with the way that the sun shines through the windows and all this that. My favorite memory was birthing Cannon right about here. Um, other little memories I love are that Harper learned to swim in this pool and she's become quite a good swimmer. The kids, you know, crawling and walking first, but... This house has been wonderful to us and it's been a great stepping stone as has everything in Florida for us in our life and a springboard more than a stepping stone, really. You know, hard work has paid off and it's hard because we, we don't want to leave our family and friends and that we've made here, but We've got to just look forward to the new adventures and the new experiences and the new people that we'll meet and hope that... New friends we'll make. There's a reason why we've been called to Oregon and we'll make the best of it, so... So today is September 17th, 2019, and thought I would document how it's going. Here's the studio, it's our bedroom. And everything is empty. Don't see much, do you? 
There's my helper. Thanks for all your help, Amy. Parky's room. One final look. Kayball's room. Today is September 19th. This is D-Day. We're leaving for Portland. Well, we're leaving for Atlanta today, but our trip to Portland starts today. How you feeling, Dad? You got home late last night. Tired. Yeah. But it's now and never. Yep. And we can and it's coloring is me. <laughs> he is. This is the greatest. But I still tired. Yeah, you you know what? You can sleep in the car. Yeah. I got you that special headrest. Mm. All right. We'll see you soon. See you soon. <laughs> see you soon. All right. There's Mimi and Poppy and Ollie and Aunt Megan. Hi everybody, we love you. All right, it is 11.42 and we are hitting the road to go to Atlanta. That is it. We've been uh, getting ready for months for this and the time has come. So we said goodbye to the house a little bit ago. <sighs> a lot of emotions. I'm not very good with emotions, as most people know, so. There'll probably be a song about this. <laughs> you talking to us, What do you got to say, buddy? Say, I'm gonna miss my Mimi and Poppy. Love you guys. What are you eating? I eat it my sweet day. Yep. What is your sweet of the day? We'll see you soon, Portland. We're coming for you. Step by step. So we've made it to Carl's house. Here's Brady. Oh. Hi. How was the trip, Dad? Not too bad. Kids. About seven hours. Stopped Kids twice. Good. Kids oh, were good. There he is. Hey, baby. Hey, what's up, everybody? <laughs> End of day one, it's 10.45, and we are exhausted. <laughs> it's day one. It's gonna be great. Day three. So this is what it actually looks 
like most of the trip. I am in the back, squished between the two kitties. Daddy's up here, in the zone, doing his thing. <laughs> and here's our sweet cannon boy. Hi, buddy. He's currently eating some grapes and loving them. You like them? <laughs> Harper's listening to a book on tape. What are you doing for your eye? Um, like, I have eyes, so this is my, um, bubba, and we, and Florida, and I got a daughter on, so that means I am baby, and I'm a baby, baby, <laughs> baby, baby, baby. This is day three, and we are in Columbus, Ohio. Saturday. And uh, we're gonna watch the game here in a little bit. Maybe go to Ill Mannered Brewing. But for now, Harper is playing on the awesome swing set outside. Day three of our trip, we are at Casey's house in Columbus. Um, we are heading to the brewery now, Ill-Mannered Brewery. Uh, we have not seen this location yet. We're really excited. I put it on the patty. Yeah, day three of our trip. We're at Ill-Mannered Brewery and Harper just poopied on the potty for the first time. <gasps> High fives. We're so excited. Kisses. stayed a little bit longer in Columbus than we had expected. A little illness and unexpected things popped up, but now we're back on the road. Last night we stayed in a hotel in St. Louis. Um, now we are feasting on the Bill's Donuts and Marion's Pizza that we picked up in Dayton before we headed out to St. Louis yesterday. And now we are driving to Danabrog, Nebraska to see Graham C. Coral and stay with her this evening. And then tomorrow we'll be heading to the Black Hills in South Dakota. So mom is driving for a little while here while we, uh, while dad adjusts because I had a long drive yesterday. But right now it's basically nothing but uh, farmland and flat and a little bit of hills, I guess. A lot of fields and farms and cows, but that's part of the journey. And once we get out west, we're looking forward to seeing some cool landscapes. Kids are struggling a little bit. They're ready to get out of the car. Uh, we stopped and saw Aunt Pam and Nicole in Dayton. And um, Aunt Pam gave Harper some bubbles, so she's really excited to stop at the gas station and play with those. Harper with her cool bubble glove that Aunt Pam got her. Loving it. Just two hours until we get to 
corals. Having a hard time. Nothing to look at, nothing to do. Just sitting in the car, bodies are hurt. Aching. Time to, uh, time to knuckle down here. Buckle down, knuckle down. Get to corals ASAP. So we can get out and run around, right Harper? All right, we have reached corals out here in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> Danabrog, Nebraska. There's lots of land around us. Oh God! Yes. As you see, big sky. There, you got it. And we anyway. are. Oh, look here, we've hey. got a pig. What are you doing? Are you sniffing? Oh. <laughs> She's a big pig big now. Pig. <laughs> I know. Big pig. She used to be so little. So today is day eight. We just left Corals and we are on our way to South Dakota. We are going to see Mount Rushmore um, and the scenery has been pretty. We expected it to be a little more boring but it's, it's been really beautiful to see. Yeah, a lot of rolling hills. We're driving next to the trains going by, so we're racing trains through the uh, the Midwest here. It's actually pretty cool. There are so, the tracks right there. Yeah, we've got a, a little bit of a trip ahead of us here. It's going to take us another five hours or so, but uh, Corals was awesome last night. We got to see McCall. And um, big shout out to John who helped us with the baby carrier delivery. Yes. Because our baby carrier broke earlier in the trip and we really needed one for the hike that's coming up later today and tomorrow morning here in the Custer State Park and uh, Black Hills area. And John came through and drove 28 miles from Grand Island, Nebraska on back hills roads like <laughs> Dirt way roads back, for miles. way back, which is awesome. Just and to deliver it to us so we could save about an hour to two hours in the trip. Yeah, so. big, big help for us, so shout out there. But now we're on our way and we'll uh, show you some pics of uh, South Dakota. So. Yeah. We stayed last night just outside of Mount Rushmore in South Dakota and uh, CJ found a really good deal <laughs> on, on a hotel with free breakfast. And so this is the hotel that we stayed at here. The Brookside Motel. The Brookside Motel. And uh, let's just say this, <laughs> wasn't great. Wasn't great, but it was a place to stay, really hard beds. Um, the free breakfast was also free for them to get, I think, because <laughs> They might have found it on the side of the road somewhere. <laughs> it was terrible. So we're packing up and we're gonna go find some real food and then we're gonna go hiking and then go see 
hiking in Custer State Park and then we're gonna go see Crazy Horse Monument and uh, head down to Denver. So it's another day. Here we go. So we're just now leaving Kelly's and we are going to attempt to make it to Boise today, which is going to be like a 12 hour drive.
right, today is our last day of the journey. We just left Boise and we are heading to Portland. Yesterday from Colorado to Boise was a beautiful drive. It was uh, 12 hours in the car and the kids actually did really wonderful. Today's it, last day, right Harvey? Six hours until Portland and then we Yay. are done. And until we get to our destination. Well, we've uh, reached our first traffic jam in Portland. Coming in at about 4 p.m. here, Pacific time. Probably not the best on a Monday. Looking good, beautiful day, 61 degrees. Drove in along the Columbia River, which was amazing. So here we are. So we have arrived at our Airbnb. <laughs> This is our place for the next month. I think maybe we're gonna go to a thrift store today, get some jackets and maybe some shoes, and then possibly go apple picking. What are you doing today? Um, picking apples. Yes, and then what are we gonna do with those apples? Yeah, really good. 